With the swift growth of e-commerce, a large number of customers have moved from offline stores and started purchasing apparels online. In India alone, companies such as Ajio, Mintra and Vunik are generating plenty of revenues by offering clothes on the web. There are thus multiple options to buy apparels online. Shoppers can also pick branded attire or designer wear without spending hours in shopping streets. The only thing they need is either their laptop or a smartphone. But one big challenge that majorly exists for online buyers is finding clothes that fit their body perfectly. There's a lack of a trial room. A startup called Mirror Size claims to resolve this problem simply through its mobile app. It's been almost two years plus that we have been doing R&D. We finally filed our patent in the last week of December 2018. It's called the Body Measurement System. And uh, in 2019, we are starting rolling out and talking to uh, major, major brands in India as well as in the US. The New Jersey-based entity that has an R&D office in New Delhi uses computer vision and deep learning on top of 3D mesh processing to offer precise body measurement on smartphones. 51-year-old Arup reveals that mirror size came into its existence by an accident. It started by accident while I was in the US in 2015 trying to shop for a shirt for me and I got it from a big brand but, it, but the shirt didn't fit. So I returned the shirt, again got a wrong one, again returned and then I called them. So they asked me to drive down to a store to find, to get myself properly a measure to get the right size. So finally I got the size, but it took me almost two months to get the right size. So then I started digging into it that this could be a big problem for all the big fashion retail and with, uh, I guess, the billions of dollars are in stake. To begin with the Mirror Size app, you need to sign up, log in or use it as a guest user. The app allows body measurement while wearing regular fit or tight fit clothes and asks you to enter parameters such as your height, weight and gender to adjust your measurement accordingly. Once the required details are entered, you need to place your smartphone vertically straight at a 90 degree angle and then step back 8 to 10 feet away from the smartphone to let the app capture your front and side views. This process helps the app determine various measurements. As a computer vision um, engineer, we here at MirrorSize try to overcome the problem of um, getting the precise body measurement using a set of pipelines. And these pipelines contains a lot of algorithm that we developed uh, over the R&D of two years. Since it's difficult to stand in an environment that doesn't surround with other objects, MirrorSize has created a deep learning model that can remove background noises using software algorithms. What is segmentation is that on a monocular camera of any cell phone, you actually get two coordinate, what is X and Y. The thing which is the missing part is the Z or Z axis, which is the depth. So we train a deep learning model and we perfected the art of segmentation where we can extract that object with any background. And it is a pixel level kind of extraction that we do. The team at Mirror Size has also enabled a deep learning model to identify human bone joints. This helps deliver accurate results without requiring many efforts from the user side. We started training the human bone joints because out of everything, the human bone joints is relatively consistent. Whether you go in different geographies from the Caucasian to Spanish to Asian to South Asian and all. So we train all the deep learning model to perfect the human bone joints to get the key feature point extraction. Now, once you do that, then you can relatively get the linear measurement very accurately because you have two points, you have two coordinates, you do a simple subtraction. To convert 2D images from mobile devices into 3D models, Mirror Size uses a mesh. It helps the app provide the measurements of circumferences such as the chest girth, stomach girth, and the waist girth. Once we get a 2D image, we do not get the depth part from that image. So what we are trying to do is to uh, get the depth part from uh, the th by deforming the 2D information, uh, by collecting the 2D information and deforming the 3D object to get the depth information out of it. Mirror Size is initially offering two products, size to fit for brands selling apparels online and get measured for base merchants offering custom-made clothes. 
However, it is also working on a futuristic product called Drapping. If you are going to wear an N size and if you are going into a trial room and uh, try if this is going to be my size, if it's tight or loose, that you are really going to see in a 3D view. So we are trying to reproduce a 3D image where it will show how the cloth falls on your body and how it fits on your body. Since we create a 3D model of the object, so the based on the customer choice of the fabric, the design, the color, the quality of the texture, within seconds we will sew that apparel and drape a person to show the person a real life visualization to enhance personalization. Mirror Size has a small team of 12 members, but it is also working with IIT professors to research and find appropriate technological integrations. Professor Sudipta Mukherjee is one of the IIT daily professors who is working with the Mirror Size team since its inception in 2017. Currently, we do some things using deep learning algorithms and then some things we do using uh, mathematical alg uh, algorithms or rather analytical alg algorithms. So it's a mix of two things which are passed interviews together and that's what gets us uh, where we are. Mirror Size isn't alone in the world of 3D body measurement apps. Solutions such as Amtailer and Tailor Guide are offering similar options to customers for some time. Nevertheless, the Mirror Size team believes that it is the accuracy that makes it better and distinct option in the market. Among other solutions, Amtailer is closely competing against Mirror Size, but it doesn't show measurements to the users after recording a video of their body. Instead, the app gives an option to purchase apparel of the recorded measurement directly. Tailor Guide, on the other hand, requires users to adjust their measurement manually after the app processes the image it takes. In this bucket, there are only a handful of players, but we are absolutely different. First, we are claiming our body measurement is the best in the world, and we are very serious about it. And there are very clear, I think, technological differentiators that differentiate us with this bucket of competitors. One is that we have perfected the art of segmentation with a cluttered or uncluttered background. And Taylor and Taylor Guide both assure users that they don't store any videos or photos they collect during the measurement process. We really are not bothered about the person's image. Once a person stands, we just need the segmented image, the black and white. The first task what we do, we cut the person from the neck because the processing starts from the neck to the torso. We are not bothered about this part. A solution like Mirror Size would help bring online fashion portals closer to their offline counterparts and reduce the cost of returns to some extent. According to a report by Statista, online return deliveries in the US alone are expected to cost $550 billion by 2020. This is notably 75.2% more than four years prior. That being said, the adoption of a solution like Mirror Size is quite low so far. Major online players in India are yet to deploy such solution at their end. Also, masses are still preferring offline stores to avoid fitting problems.